Hello everybody, welcome to this massive open online course on solid fluid operations. So, in this lecture we will try to uh, discuss about the mixing of solids, how that mixing uh, of the solids uh, of different types uh, happens, what are the mechanism and uh, also what are the basic equipments that are being used for getting that uh, intense mixing uh, of the uh, solid materials. In this module also we will try to uh, discuss about the mixing uh, between solid and fluids in the successive lectures. So, uh, here uh, basically what is the you know uh, introduction of that mixing of solids to be you know discussed and the next lecture we will try to discuss about the uh, assessment of the mixing, what are the different types of assessing uh, procedure to know that uh, uh, how much mixing happened between the solids or uh, between solid and liquids. And also we will try to uh, discuss uh, about that uh, mixing uh, between solid and uh, liquid in a uh, certain you know that uh, mixing devices. So, in this lecture uh, we will uh, first cover that what is the mixing, uh, what is the difference between mixing, blending and agitation. In industry there are different types of you know mechanisms of this mixing, blending and agitation happens. Sometimes this mixing, blending and agitations are uh, used. Uh, that is without uh, making any difference there, but there will be a certain difference that we will discuss and also what is the mechanism of mixing and then what are the different uh, mixing equipment generally being used there. So, what basically that mixing terms, blending and agitation terms are there? You will see that uh, these three terms are very important uh, whenever we are talking about that is there any you know random motion of the solid materials with one to another and whether it will be called mixing or whether it will be called blending or whether it will be called ag agitation. So, they are uh, these three terms basically uh, will be defining in different way like you know mixing is defined as a process that tends to result in a, a randomization of dissimilar particles within a system. So, in this case you will see that here basically the randomization or you can say that uh, you know arbitrary positioning of the materials. Uh, that may be you know similar or dissimilar uh, within a particular system. And the blending basically uh, uh, it is the terms to represent the mixing smoothly and inseparably together during which a minimum energy will be you know required to uh, mix those uh, uh, you know materials in the bed. So, that is called blending and mixing and blending are commonly used interchangeable in the pharmaceutical industry. Whereas, agitation, agitation is also uh, basically that mixing of that you know solid materials, but this agitation uh, terms refers to the induced motion of a material uh, in a specific pattern, specially circular patterns. It may be for single or uh, you know that uh, multiple phases, maybe solid liquid or liquid liquid or liquid and uh, solids like that. Whereas, mixing that will give you the random you know distribution of the solid materials into and through one another especially for you know multiphases. So, this is the basic differences of this you know agitation with that mixing. So, mixing and agitation are not the same technically you can say that those will not be same. So, agitation basically is a you know that randomization of the materials or mixing or you can say that you know mingle of the materials in a certain you know pattern specific pattern or in a fashion whereas it will be also uh, happened only uh, uh, not only that you know uh, single phase also multi phase also but mixing in that case it will be among the phases you know there will be you know that multi phase system ok whereas blending in that case single or multi phase both will be there but there will be minimum energy requirement where it will be there then it will be called as blending. That means, here you know very you know that low kinetic energy uh, dissipation where that blending will happen. There are different categories of that you know uh, mixing uh, it is represents like mixing of solids that in solid and solid there will be mixing, mixing of liquids both miscible and immiscible there and mixing of semi solids, mixing of you will see that uh, some uh, particles will be you know that very soft. So, soft particles are uh, mixing there ok and uh, why then you have to know that mixing, 
uh, regarding that you will see that in any industry whenever any operation is being happened either with the solid particles or without solid particles there of course that uh, the operations will be with the systems or like you know multiphase systems so in that case to get the better yield if it suppose there is a reaction to get the better yield of that reaction you have to mix the solid material as a catalyst inside the bed or you have to randomize the particles in a certain fashion so that it will give you that particular pattern of that flow through which that materials will be you know imparting and uh, then uh, it will give you the you know better uh, yield also you will see that mixing of phases like gas liquid and solid both or among the phases you can say gas liquid solid all those uh, phases whenever it will be imparting in a particular you know uh, chemical reactions especially it happens in fischer tropsch synthesis that we have discussed earlier whenever uh, that uh, conversion of hydrocarbons from the synthesis gases there you have to use the some catalyst particles and their gas and liquid both will be there so in presence of catalyst particles gas and liquid will be you know reacting and then it will give you the hydrocarbons so, so they are intense mixing of that gas liquid and solid will be inside the you know fluidized bed or in the slurry bubble column reactor either in that case in particles uh, uh, or powdered forms that catalyst particles will be used which will be very essential part for any you know that you know chemical reactions whether chemical engineering processes or you know that transport process you can say uh, or any other mechanical operations of that suppose that you want to you know uh, reduce the size of the particles there so in that case uh, you will see that uh, there will be mixing of the particles there and you want to get that you know uniform size distribution there so there should be a certain you know mixing phenomena inside the unit okay so uh, we can say that the mixing is very important in any chemical engineering processes or biochemical processes or pharmaceutical industries or mechanical operations or physical operations there so this mixing will be important there also mixing is considered as a critical factor especially in case of potent drugs potent drugs and uh, low dose uh, drugs there where you will see that high amounts of uh, adsorbents are generally required to add so in that case mixing is important because they are you know that distribution of the concentration of that ingredients is important if they are uniform mixing then concentration distribution among that particular you can say that tablet or any other uh, means there their drug distribution should be you know uniform just that can be obtained because of that you know uniform mixing and also you will see that there are uh, two types of mixing or blending will be there one is called wet mixing another is called dry mixing or dry blending so wet mixing is generally considered in the granulation step where you will see that uh, you need to uh, produce the tablets or capsules there so in that case the wet mixing of that you know materials is very important dry mixing is done for several ingredients readily used for you know direct uh, compression as in the tablets also dry blending uh, is uh, suitable for you know powders and capsules dry syrups and compounds powders like this so the production of several doses uh, like fillets capsule etc based on either dry or you know wet mixing in that case uh, you know you have to know that uh, you know degree of mixing or you can say that intensity of the mixing of that material or ingredients so that is why mixing is very important you have to assess how much or what is the degree of mixing inside happened that will be discussed in the uh, next lecture that uh, uh, the procedure of uh, assessing the degree of mixing then uh, if you are talking about that mixing what are the basic mechanism of that uh, getting mixed of that solid materials the solid particles are mixed based on uh, the you know mechanism like convective mixing diffusion mixing and shear mixing these are three main categories of uh, mechanism of this solid mixing in the case of convective uh, you know mixing you will see that some groups of particles are moved from one position to the uh, other position with a certain fashion or pattern in that case mixing of uh, you know two or more groups of solids particles happens uh, so that they are dispersed in each uh, with others and also uh, another uh, mechanism it is called diffusion mixing in that case solid particles are distributed 
over a freshly developed interfaces and also you will see that uh, the powdered materials are mixed in a container where the movement of the powder particles occurs by tilting the material beyond the angle of repose. In that case you will see that whenever you are transporting some materials either by you know belt conveyor or uh, uh, bucket conveyor you will see that whenever you are just uh, you know transporting that materials as a bass you have to get it in a bucket or in a you know belt and in that case the belt or bucket will be designed in such a way that what is the you know interfaces of the solid material above that you know bucket or on the you know belt. So, that actually uh, will give you the angle of repose that we will discuss later on also what is that angle of repose all those things and this angle of repose that depends on the uh, you know position of that solid materials or distribution of the solid materials on the surface of that you know uh, built or other way. So, in that case that diffusion of that solid materials on that you know particular built or you know other means that actually will give you that uh, you know particular assessment of that transport phenomena or uh, you know that the efficiency of the you know materials handling for the uh, distribution of that materials and by which you can get that you know energy distribution to transport of that material from one position to the another position. So, it depends on that orientation of the materials. So, that orientation depends on how actually how that uh, solid materials will be mixed with each other. This is one another is that that whenever you will see that very fine powder particles will be used in a gas liquid solid reactions. In that case gas is actually distributed in the reactor as a dispersed phase of bubbles in a liquid medium. Where in the liquid you will see that powders will be spreaded over that uh, or you can say distributed in the liquid. Now that powders you will see that it will be you know attached to the surface of the you know bubble where that gas and solid materials will come in contact. So, in that case that solid materials how it will be distributed over the surface of that bubble or at the interface of the bubble and liquid that actually will give you that you know yield of that process. So, here this you know attachment of the solid materials over the surface of the bubble or interface of the bubble you will see that that will give you degree of you know or efficiency of the process. This is especially happened uh, when uh, in mineral industry you will see that flotation process. You will see flotation process basically depends on that you know hydrophobicity or hydrophilicity of that you know material. You will see that hydrophobic materials uh, it will be separated uh, by that flotation process just by aeration. So, in that case uh, whenever aeration will happen there air will be distributed as a dispersed phase of bubbles in that you know liquid. So, in that case uh, uh, in the liquid the particles which will be you know hydrophobic in nature they will attach to the surface of the bubble. Now, it depends on that mixing of the solid material inside that flotation column and uh, what extent of that solid materials can be attached that depends on mixing phenomena of that solid materials inside the bed. So, based on that attachment of that solid material on the surface of the you know uh, that bubble it will be you know separated by just buoyancy effect of that bubbles and it will carry out at the top uh, of the you know surface of that you know flotation column ok. So, then it will be separated. So, this is the mechanism. So, where you will see that at the surface of the bubbles the solid particles will be attaching or depositing ok. And that deposition depends on you know that uh, intensity of the mixing inside that or collision also that collision depends on the mixing. So, that is why this type of you know mixing phenomena is called the diffusion mixing and then another is called shear mixing. You will see that there are uh, some momentum exchange or some energy to be transported to the powder particles having different velocities and it will be you know giving that you know shear mixing like it will be you will say that randomly it will be you know transported in a particular pan and then uh, it will be mixed with the other materials with different you know velocity. In that case this shear mixing can improve you know semi microscopic mixing and be favorable in both base and continuous operation. So, here 
you have to remember that during powder mixing all of the above three mechanism takes place together. Now, for that to get that intense mixing of the solid materials among themselves or one solids to the another solids or solids to the liquid, there should be certain devices or machine or equipment based on which you can get that intense mixing of the solid materials. Now, in that case, there are two actually broadly cl classified you know equipments we can say one is called active another is called passive equipments. The active type uses certain moving you know parts to assist in the randomization of the solid materials or the mixer machines moves about physically in the mixing process. So, in this case you will see that there will be certain moving parts of the machine and based on who is that whenever the machine parts will be moving along with that machine part the solid materials also will be getting movement. Okay. So, this is the thing like here ribbon blenders, tumbler blenders and high shear mixing and multi mechanism blenders are there. These are the special type of mixing devices by which you can get that active mixing of that you know materials by that active mixer uh, or active uh, mixing equipment. And otherwise passive in this case you will see that the randomization of that you know solid materials can be achieved by directed flow of the powder streams by baffles. In that case you will see that there will be no moving parts, but some baffles will be some mechanical provisions to be provided in that uh, you know mixing devices. So, whenever solid materials will be moving that will start by that you know baffles or other you know mechanical uh, means so that its movements will be randomized. So, these are the called passive you know uh, equipments or passive type of you know mixers. This is basically that shear mixing happens uh, in this case like baffled and gravity embed mixing devices these are special type of you know equipment. Here uh, in the slides you will see that uh, some active and passive blenders mixers are uh, given here. One is called ribbon blender you see the uh, video here and another is called uh, tumbler blender and also you will see that is called baffled uh, blender uh, and also you can get this you know gravity uh, in bed uh, you know uh, blender. So, here a ribbon blender you will see that uh, how uh, it will be there uh, uh, first of all uh, see that uh, in case of uh, a ribbon blender you will see that some uh, ribbons is attached to the you know shaft and whenever that shaft will be rotating at a certain speed that ribbon you will see that it is aligned uh, in the uh, shaft in such way that it will be rotating and because of that rotation the solid materials will get the randomization inside it. And a tumbler blender you will see that they are uh, here the solid materials will be you know just uh, rotating centrifugally uh, at in a certain fashion. And then uh, you know uh, high in this case high shear mixing happens because of this you know tumbling action of that uh, impeller. Whereas, baffles you will see that there will be certain mechanical uh, provision uh, in this case uh, you will see that uh, along this side uh, there will be a uh, you know some baffle here these are the uh, some baffles are uh, there uh, you know that uh, alongside that you know pan uh, there will be a, uh, some baffles attached there. And because of this attached you the know, solid materials whenever it will be moving uh, it will get stuck and then uh, get the randomization direction of that solid movement. Okay. And then gravity in bed uh, blender you will see that uh, the solid materials will be falling downward under gravity and whenever it will be falling downward you will see that uh, it will be you know passing through some baffles or some you know obstructions or some you know hindrance uh, mechanical devices and then uh, after struck on that you know uh, uh, mechanical uh, provisions so they will be you know getting uh, different directions of falling that you know uh, materials. So, these are the things uh, and also you will see that some mixer uh, grinder there mixer uh, because of that you know some impeller they are you know impeller and also that equipment both will be uh, rotating uh, in a certain fashion and then solid materials accordingly will get mixed. So, here see that uh, ribbon blender how that ribbon blender is uh, acting uh, uh, to you know randomize that solid materials inside the bed. Then uh, coming to that uh, best type of blenders 
uh, we can segregate this type of uh, different types of you know blenders uh, into you know that either will be bass or continuous. So, some will be bass type blenders, there are some uh, amount of solid materials to be you know feed uh, into the devices and then uh, uh, getting mixed and then again uh, it will be used for particular purposes. And in this case you will see that tumbling time blenders uh, what it is called mixers you can say these are suitable for gentle blending and also easily cleaned suitable for dense powders and abrasive materials they are not suitable for breaking up agglomerates. And these blenders can be provided with uh, blades and baffles to break up uh, agglomerates like this here double cone twin shell horizontal drum double cone traveling around long axis with baffles, ribbon, even uh, vertical uh, orbiting uh, screw, bass move, muffler and single rotor, turbine. These are the specific name of this you know uh, devices on which you can get that you know material mixed. So, a bass uh, blender or mixer which continues to agitate individual bases of solids for relatively long periods until they are adequately mixed. Ribbon blenders is also a bass type uh, in that case uh, the a ribbon uh, that will rotates uh, within a, a static trough, uh, trough you can say uh, or open uh, cylinder and the particles are conveyed by the moving ribbon. And in this case uh, materials ranging from low density finely divided materials that aerate uh, uh, rapidly to uh, fibrous or sticky materials that require positively uh, discharge aid can be uh, blended there. And a broad ribbon can be you know used for lifting as well as for conveying while a narrow one will cut through the material while conveying it. So, here uh, one uh, you will see that uh, ribbon blender it is shown here see here uh, uh, already we have shown earlier also that ribbon blender how it is working there. And then uh, vertical orbiting screw blender you will see that uh, this type of blender consists of a conical vessel with a rotating screw which lifts powders from the base of the conical vessel to the powder, uh, powder surface while at the same time orbiting around the vessel wall. Here as shown uh, you know in the video. An advantage of this orbiting screw design is uh, that mixing is rapid and the powder consumption to produce uh, a uniform blend is thus considerably reduced ok. So, how this you know uh, vertical or writing screw can be used for getting that intense mix of that solid materials. Then another type it is called uh, Muller mixer this is also best type you will see that in this case uh, it is also called a pan mixer it consists of flat uh, bottomed cylindrical pan shaped vessel that is equipped with agitators here as shown in the video. This vessel is equipped with large rotating wheels and a set of scrapers called the Muller turret and also in this case you will see that the wheels which is used in this uh, Muller compress materials against the pan bottom ok. This is basically the action similar to that of uh, you know mortar and pestle known as uh, you know mewling and also in this case you will see that uh, when this uh, wheels compress materials against the pan bottom the scrapers move the materials from the pan's side and center to flow under the wheels and because of this shearing action the particles are being you know mixed to each other. It is useful for mixing problems that requires certain types of you know aggregate breakdown, frictional anchorage of particles to one another and uh, densification of the final mix. It is also used for mixing solids with liquids to produce pastes ok. So, here see that uh, Muller mixer how it works to mix that you know solid material. Then uh, coming to another type it is called drum type blenders this is also works on bass type you can say that uh, how it will be working. Drum type blenders with the axis of rotation it may be you know that horizontal to the center of the drum are in common use in this case 
usually they are provided with internal baffles or helical plates to improve the cross flow of the solids. The drum itself is rotating uh, randomly uh, in either direction you know horizontal or you know that uh, vertical that is in randomly a uh, random direction you can say. So, there you will see that whenever this drum will be rotating inside that uh, drum whatever materials ok. So, there will be a mixing. So, here uh, basically this uh, also 3D uh, swing motion it is called because of which you that randomly the solid particles will be distributing and getting mixed. So, it may happen either smooth running or you know uh, 3D random uh, running. So, sometimes it will be quite operation there where is laminar uh, flow will be there so that the uh, particles can get you know mixed in a certain fashion. And then uh, you will see that uh, other type it is called single rotor blender or mixer. This type of blender consists of a single shaft with paddles inside of a cylindrical shell and these blenders uh, usually operate at high tip speeds generally 6000 to 9000 speed per minute. And turbine blender or mixers you will see that uh, here this consists of a circular trough with a housing in the center around which uh, you know revolves a spider or a series of legs with uh, you know fluff shares or you can say uh, mold boards on each leg here as shown in the picture. The fluff shares spin around you will see that through the circular trough uh, which causes the material to circulate uh, rapidly from the center to the walls then upwards and down to the center like this. You will see that here uh, how it will be you know uh, rotating uh, there. Here see in this case uh, how uh, that pebbles are being used and getting you know all that uh, mixed there in the solid material here yeah, like this. So, uh, another type it is called the in bean blenders. These blenders are essentially silos with various means of moving the stored solids to achieve that blending and that blending may happen by falling the solids by gravity through a perforated pipe or multiple pipes you can say here as shown in the picture. And uh, also it may happen by aerating the mass in the bean in the bean. Also it can be you know done by introducing pulsed air here you will see that pulsed air which creates intense turbulence and causes intermittent fluidization and movement of the materials in the bed. So, there we are having three different types of uh, in bean uh, blenders and in that case that uh, three types of that uh, blendings or three ways of blendings happens. Uh, one is uh, that falling the solid by gravity that is here you will see that through a perforated pipe or multiple pipes and another one is by aerating and then also by aerating uh, by air uh, but with a particular pulse. So, in that case in all cases you will see that uh, the solid materials will get that intermittent uh, mixing ok or movement of the materials inside the vessel. Then uh, it is called continuous type blenders a continuous blender or mixers agitates and moves material through the equipment and their mixing happens in quick pass uh, in that case as short as one tenth the time required in a bass blender you can say. And also this continuous type of blender is usually long narrow and enclosed and uh, this special design will you know ensure you the materials that are get mixed together in the time it takes the material to enter the blender's inlet and pass through the blender and discharge from the outlet. And basic continuous blender types are pug mills, twin screw blenders, ribbon blenders, pin mixers, static mixers and free fall impeller mixers. Specialized designs include the zigzag blender, the poly kneader and the continuous muller. Here pug mills you will see that uh, a pug mill consists of a drum or trough. It is a special uh, vessel it is called that trough shaped vessel that is equipped with a double shafted or less open single shafted agitator you can say with paddles that will be mounted on each shaft here. 
and the pedals are usually adjustable so that their forward and backward motion can be varied during mixing. Also you can see that uh, this pack mill can handle very large volumes and is often used for very crude solids blending such as preparing clay for brick formation. Uh, another uh, one continuous uh, type of blenders it is called twin rotor blenders. Here you will see that it is manufactured uh, to more uh, you know exact tolerance and has a very sophisticated twin screw agitator design. It is also called a twin screw blender. This is basically a pack mill you can say. So, it consists of two shafts here with either screw or paddles that is attached and, and cast uh, uh, in a cylindrical vessel. The vessel is designed like a closed figure you know and is uh, maintained to fit very closely around the screw agitators here as shown in the uh, video and also picture. The screw agitators can be you know overlapping or tangential and co-rotating or counter rotating you can say that depending on the you know application. So, here see the video that how that you know twin rotor blenders can be you know acting to mix the solid materials. And then static mixer is also another important uh, mixture here you will see that uh, it is also called motionless mixer which consists of a cylindrical chamber uh, in which chaos in inducting elements that are located along the axis of the mixer. And in this case the solids pass through the mixer by gravity flow and the elements cause the particles to move in different directions. They are suitable for blending such as solids, grain and plastic chips. Okay. And then uh, another also that fall impeller blender which is also run continuously. This type of blender or mixer consists of a vertical cylinder with blades that will be mounted on a central shaft. As the materials fall through the cylinder by you know gravity here as shown in the picture, the higher speed rotation of the blades causes that blending here and the typical uses are for the blending of detergents, fat or flour mixers and you know animal feed stuffs. Another important uh, you know continuous uh, mixer it is called you know zigzag blender. This is a special designed uh, you know uh, mixers. It is based on the design of a tumbling twin shell V shaped blender it is called here as shown in the picture. You will see that V shaped here like this. This consists of a number of V shaped uh, blenders called legs joined together. It operates strictly on uh, tumbling action without you know internal scrappers stirring devices, screens, vans or paddles. In this case the motion produced is a rolling one you will see that so that uh, particles are not crushed and you can say smeared or subjected to excessive mechanical work. Okay. So, you have to you know operate in such a gentle uh, flow rate so that there will be no crushing of that materials. And then uh, another type of uh, continuous uh, you know blender it is called Muller type. Here uh, already we have shown earlier in the bash operation. This blender is a series of two or more bash pan Muller. The pan Mullers are arranged so that some material in the first Muller flows to the second, some materials from the second Muller flows to the third and so on until the finished mixer discharges from last pan Muller. Here the series of fan muller will be there. The continuous muller is used for mixing solids with liquids to form damp solids or pests like this. Okay. So, here see how that you know sticky materials can be you know that mixed here also uh, and it will be continuously and uh, one pan uh, will be transferred to the another pan so that uh, to get that degree of mixing will be more higher. Then, uh, Another uh, you know bass type uh, which is domestically also it is being used it is called kneader. This blender consists of a closed cylindrical vessel 
equipped with stationary pins that project from the housing. The agitator is an interrupted flight screw, the screws edge have gaps or openings in them and then uh, during mixing the shaft rotates and reciprocates so that the screw moves around the housings stationary pins which blends the material. Also you will see that the like the twin uh, you know screw blender it is used primarily for mixing solids with liquids to produce pests. Okay? So, here it is shown in the video that how that you know kneader is working. And then uh, we will uh, you know uh, discuss that different types of you know blender or mixer uh, uh, and how that mixer uh, or blender will be you know uh, working and their uh, mechanism and also what is the basis of analysis dot that you know uh, mixing that intensity of the mixing that is done by this you know different mixers. So, in the next lecture we will try to uh, learn about the degree of mixing and its assessment. So, till now whatever we have learned in this lecture that uh, different type of equipment which are being used for mixing of solids, what are the basic mechanism of that mixing and also what are the different uh, uh, types of uh, mixing either solid solid or solid liquid or semi solids and uh, what are the importance of the solids that we have learned here. And the next lecture we will try to uh, learn about that you know intensity of the mixing and what extent of mixing will be happened. So, uh, thank you for giving your attention. So, have a nice day. Mm -hmm.